Let's go down to Rome's uh, Mel Kuyper Jr. Who the hell is Mel Kuyper? Uh, Mel Kuyper Jr. is uh, one of the grand poobahs, one of the godfathers of the draft community. Uh, and taught, 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 taught. Yes, Mel, Mel Kuyper, he's that dude. The hair, immaculate. The draft picks, pretty good. Hmm. Uh, but Mel Kuyper just released his mock draft 4.0. Now, he generally does uh, four mock drafts, uh, one a month leading up to the NFL draft. Maybe he'll uh, release one in the next couple weeks, like one last second one. Who, who knows, man? But uh, in, in general, the things have been whittled down, and all the combine, the pro days, all, all that stuff, uh, interviews, all the rumors and innuendo is start, starting to come in uh, to fruition. So finally, mercifully, we're almost there. Oh, we're halfway there. And the Vikings in version 4.0 uh, move up, and they trade three first-rounders for J.J. McCarthy. All right, so this, this is what Mel wrote. Projected trade. <clears throat> Vikings use their extra round one pick to move up. Okay, here we go with my first projected trade of the 2024 cycle. He didn't do any trades in his first three versions. Uh, I have to believe there was a reason the Vikings made the deal last month with Houston to acquire a second first-rounder, number 23. They needed extra capital to move up. With his trade, Minnesota would send number 11-23, along with a first-round selection in 2025 to Los Angeles, who could drop six spots and still get an offensive tackle. Uh, the Chargers and new coach uh, Jim Harbaugh have multiple needs to fill. Now, that's a lot. That That's a lot to uh, move up six spots. But, again, if they're sold that McCarthy is the guy, that's a cost to do business. All right? Now, personal preference – would I rather stick and pick, hang on to that first, and also 23, and then uh, potentially take Penix at 11? Sure. Uh, but, again, specifically for McCarthy operating inside the Kevin O'Connell offense, surrounded by talent, no pressure for him to start right away, I get it. Uh, this is what uh, Kuiper wrote. At this point in the process, based on everything I've heard, I don't think the Vikings can afford to wait uh, until number 11 if they want one of the top four quarterbacks, even though that's exactly what they did in his last mock. Uh, they're going to have to trade up. Are they giving up too much? Uh, it's certainly possible, but if they believe McCarthy can be their long-term Kirk Cousins replacement, uh, shouldn't they be okay with sending out their 2025 first rounder? Well, on top of that, it's a 23 that included their their two second round picks. So basically, it's this year's first, this year's second, next year's first, next year's second. That's what they're doing. Uh, I have McCarthy at number 14 on my big board, but I can see on tape why a team might take him in the top five. He has intriguing physical traits and took a huge step forward as a precision passer in 2023. In Minnesota, with Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkins, and Kenjins passes, uh, he would have the playmakers around him to succeed as a rookie. And also, you know, with Darnold in there too, like if he's deemed not ready, he wouldn't have to start him. And what's interesting, so uh, so Dane Brugler over at The Athletic, one of the hardcore grinders of the draft process. So he just released his draft guide, uh, a.k.a. The Beast, today. And here's a fun excerpt about McCarthy. This is from the Persuasion. Uh, per The Beast by Dan Brugler, here's what an NFL scout had to say about J.J. McCarthy. Who does this remind you of? Quote, before McCarthy signed, he was telling other Michigan recruits that if they want to party and chase girls, go somewhere else. His class was going to be the one that restored Michigan. To have that mentality and then actually go achieve it, he's different. And you know, McCarthy started as a true freshman, three-year starter. You know, took Michigan uh, all, all the way and won, won the title last year to the playoff last uh, two years ago. Yeah, that is impressive. And th this does sound like like broccoli-haired Tom Brady. I don't know. I don't know, man. But uh, just going through uh, Mel, Mel's uh, mock drafts this year. So last version, he had the Vikings taking McCarthy at 11 and then Cooper DeJean at 23 overall, which I would, I, I would be okay with. Now, again, extremely unlikely that McCarthy slips down to 11 because I think if the Giants just don't take him at 6, uh, I think that the Broncos and or the Raiders uh, could potentially make a move to go get him. So there you go. Uh, but in uh, version two, before the Vikings made the trade with the Texans, they took Jared Verse. Uh, and then version one, uh, Nate Wiggins, uh, the, the the sticky man cornerback out of Clemson. So now, I mean, the Vikings you know, do end up with McCarthy with a trade up. And what's interesting is, like, looking back. So, uh, again, I, I want to have a coffee table book of every single rumor, innuendo, and mock draft and see who's right. But – we're starting small with uh, Kuiper from last year. So uh, he did four mock drafts last year. Uh, Manuel Forbes in two of them, uh, book ending one and four. Deontay Banks, thanks, in in the middle, as well as Quentin Johnston, uh, 3.0. So corner, 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 wide receiver in one of them. Uh, Forbes ended up going 16 to the commies. 
he did not have a great rookie year. Deontay Banks, I, I think, is going to be a stud for the Giants. He won 24, uh, and also Quinn Johnson won 21 to the Chargers, and the Vikings obviously took Addison number 23 overall. It seemed to work out. All right, and you know, with McCarthy, again, is it expensive? Yes. Effectively, you're giving up two firsts and, and two seconds via all, all the trades uh, to go get J.J. McCarthy. And I understand people's reservations because of he, he didn't put up the huge numbers. Like They didn't lean on him offensively. They were a run-first team, and McCarthy just sort of was the game manager and made a couple of big plays uh, when he was asked to. But if they see the potential, they, they see the potential. And this is a gamble of monumental proportions. It would be the biggest gamble in team history. It would be the first time that they would be drafting a quarterback in the top 10. And if Kevin O'Connell and Quasey are willing to bet their jobs that McCarthy is a guy, I'm in. You son of a B. I am indeed in. So let's roll. Let's roll, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Mel Kuyper Jr., Mock Draft 4.0. Todd, 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 Todd. Uh, has the Vikings trading up heaven and earth for J.J. McCarthy. Hopefully, hopefully it works out. <laughs> uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull, production value.